Greetings, welcome back. The three and plus one problem says start with any number. If it's odd, multiply by three and add one, and if it's even, cut it in half. It's conjectured that every number goes to one. So we can try to prove that's the case, or we can show a loop of huge numbers that goes round and round without hitting one, or we can show a number that diverges to infinity. And we haven't looked much at divergence so far, so let's commit some time to that. It's uh, reasonable to think that no numbers diverge. For example, if odds and evens alternated, then a three and plus one trajectory would look like this. After each pair of steps, you're lower and lower. In fact, you need about 63% odds just to stay above water. So for a start number to be divergent, its trajectory needs more than 63% odds. Is there some start tra number whose trajectory is 100% odds? That'd be great. Uh, but here's why that's never gonna happen. Such a finite start number has to be lower than 2 to the n for some n. And of all the numbers that it could be, from 0 to 2 to the n minus 1, only 2 to the n minus 1 has a trajectory that starts with n odds. All the other numbers have at least one even. But the very next number in 2 to the n minus 1's trajectory is even. In fact, it's 3 to the n minus 1. Like in this case, where 7, 2 to the 3 minus 1, goes odd, 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 and then even to 26, which is 3 to the 3 minus 1. So no start number can keep up and odds run indefinitely. How about a number that follows a trajectory like odd, odd, even, odd, odd, even, odd, odd, even forever? That's got 66% odds, so such a trajectory could be divergent. Well, that's also never going to happen. For the first three steps, odd, odd, even, we already need a start number like 3, 11, 19, or so on. But on the fourth step, Every other one of these numbers fails, producing an even where we wanted an odd. And on the fifth step, every other one of the remaining numbers fails to produce an odd, and so on. No matter what number we start with, we can predict the exact step at which it won't obey our proposed trajectory. Unless we go negative. So here we get negative 5, negative 7, negative 10, negative 5, no, negative 7, negative 10, etc., which does obey the odd-odd even trajectory indefinitely, but it's a loop instead of a divergent trajectory. Okay, so maybe a divergent trajectory would have to be kind of irregular and willy-nilly. So too bad we don't have a divergent number that we could actually inspect. Actually we do. In the 5n plus 1 problem, start numbers trend upwards instead of downwards. So this blue line is gonna grow uh, so far so fast we, we actually better put it on a log scale and beside it is the actual start number seven which in a few thousand steps has already hit a 300 digit number and shows no signs of coming back and the evens and odds look pretty random walkish like the digits of pi in fact if you go out to step 992,410 you see this sequence of evens and odds which, if you arrange them into a rectangle, it spells AI. A little shout out to our future overlords. And uh, if you keep going, probably you could eventually find a high resolution image of Winston Churchill or maybe a, another face on Mars, like the fictional library of Babel described by Borges. Maybe everything's in there. But maybe not, because in fact, no one's managed to prove that 7 is a divergent number under 5n plus 1. Just a conjecture, because at any moment this orange trajectory could accidentally hit a power of 2 and come plummeting back to Earth. However, the probability of that seems pretty low, because at each step there's about a 4 fifths to the n chance of hitting a power of 2, so if you haven't hit one in the first 100 steps, there's only a 1 in a billion chance of it ever happening. Ever. So it's conjectured that there are no divergent numbers under 3n plus 1, and it's conjectured that almost every number is divergent under 5n plus 1, but no proofs. You have to go all the way to 1093n plus 1 before you can make some solid claims, which we saw in episode 39, where some odd numbers immediately hit a power of 2, but are inaccessible from the rest of the odd numbers. So those odds can never reach 1, which means they diverge to infinity, or maybe every single one of them gets caught up in some giant loop. Well, there's more to say about divergence, so uh, let's get to more of that in the future. See you next time.